Hey Novi, the Novi Unified Soccer Team is having a game this Tuesday on October 10th at 4 p.m. in the Novi Stadium. Please be there to support your Novi Wildcats. Hey Wildcats, this is Neil and you're stuck with me because I'm doing Cat's Eye News. Remember the good old days when signing out of advisory by just writing your name on a piece of paper was old, plain and simple? Well those days are completely over. Here is a quick tutorial on how to travel during advisory. Make an appointment pass for the teacher you want to travel to. Appointment pass, departing from, destination, date, the Thursday advisory date, period, departing from advisory period, time, advisory starts at 1 p.m. Submit. Make sure you create this appointment pass before 11.59 p.m. on Wednesday night. Otherwise, your teacher will have to create the pass for you. Step 2. Make sure the teacher you want to travel to has approved the appointment pass. You don't have to bribe me. I'm accepting your e-hall pass because you're following the right steps. Then, go to your advisory teacher's classroom, make sure you sign in with them, and then depart to the teacher you want to travel to. Reminder, you only need one appointment pass in spite of how many teachers you want to travel to. This is Neil signing off. You may or may not see me in the next one. Hey Novi, if you're looking to have some fun and get into shape after school, I've got some amazing news for you. A small group of students decided to start up an unofficial club called SL Daily Mile. It's a group that meets every single day outside of school and I'm going to go interview its most active member. SL Daily Mile is a group that goes outside every day to the track, runs a mile, and then goes to play soccer afterwards, which is optional. Um, you can join by just showing up after school at the track. Uh, we just meet over there, do some stretches, and then go run a mile. Well, there you have it, Novi. Now go clear out your schedule and come to SL Daily Mile after school today. This is Luke, signing off. What do you want to say to the people? I love soccer. We're here at Blaze Pizza in Novi for its very last day in business. We interviewed a Blaze employee to get the scoop, or should I say, the slice. So, who am I here with today? JC, the GM at Blaze Pizza. I've been working for a company for about five years. So, how do you feel about Blaze closing? I mean, obviously we're sad to see a store go, but hopefully with being able to like redirect that money into other stores, we can make those other ones more profitable. So how do you think Blaze closing is gonna affect the community? We're obviously, we've had a lot of people tell us that like they're sad to see us go. Obviously we still have the other stores, so hopefully they'll come see us there. And on that note, do we have any idea of what might come here afterwards? Or? No idea. No idea, Honestly, okay. I have absolutely no clue. Okay. And that's a wrap, Novi. If you wanna get Blaze Pizza, now all you have to do is drive out to Auburn Hills, which is who knows how far away. So basically, you probably won't ever eat Blaze again. What's up, Novi? I interviewed Novi's biggest club's co-presidents to get some insight at why you should maybe join. So why might somebody want to join HOSA? Well, someone might want to join HOSA if they're interested in pursuing a career in medicine. HOSA is Novi's club related to all things medicine. And it's also been Novi's largest club. Last year we had 442 members. So basically a quarter of the school is already there. So if somebody's already interested in joining HOSA, where might they get more information about it? We actually have a general information meeting and an exploration meeting next week Wednesday on October 11th. The exploration event starts at 6 followed by the informational meeting at 7 p.m. The event exploration will just be general information on the different events that students can participate in for HOSA. And the general information meeting will be information on how to join the club. Join HOSA! Hey Novi, today school will be dismissed early at 224 for a mandatory bus evacuation practice. After school go straight to your bus and your driver will run through a practice. Wow, hey the Wildcats. All right, I have some good news for you. On Monday, we have no school. You can have a three-day weekend. You can rest in a little bit. That's great news because, honestly, I want my sleep too. All right, well, cats, I will not be seeing you on Monday, but I'll see you on the next broadcast. Hey, Wildcats. Thanks for tuning in on Cat Eye News. We hope to see you on Wednesday for more updates.